was the night before Christmas by Henry Livingston Jr. 1823. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring and not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled or snuck in their beds while a vision of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in a kerchief, and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there rose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon, on the breast of the new fallen snow, gave the luster of midday to objects below. When, what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, in a moment, it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Carpet, on Darner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the white hurry can fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop they courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head, I was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his toes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler, just opened his pack. His eyes, how the twinkle, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he had tied on his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had the broad face and a real round belly <laughs> that shook when he laughed like a ball full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled out his stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, giving a nod of the chimney arose. He sprang to his slate, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of a drizzle. But I heard him exclaim, if you drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to y'all, and to all a good night.